What's up team boys, it's your boy Paws in the building, welcome back to my channel, hope you had an amazing happy day, you had a good night, it was a good morning, it was a good evening, I have no clue what time you're watching this video, but I know you have watched or oh, you will watch the video I did for Ayana, she broke the world record from a fellow Ethiopian, like she busted her like crazy, I was like what? So something came up, I'm like okay. Nobody has ever done this before. Yeah, this is another a threat from Ethiopia. There are two anyway. Kenesia Beleke and Hale Gebriselasi. Okay, you ready for this, guys? I just don't know. I just love this. I feel like I couldn't. I, I feel like there's a time when you cannot sleep and you ask me like this. I could do videos like 20 days straight. Like if you do 20 days, how many hours in 20 days? Can't even know. Let's see who is Hail Selassie. Sorry, no, yeah, Hail Gabriel Selassie actually is here and Kenesia Beleke. In 2003, World Championship 10,000 meters was truly a unique moment in the history of distance running. In the race, Kenesia Beleka and Hail Gabriel raced to become the world champion in 10k meters. You hear that? And wow, the list was, there are two runners are largely regarded as the greatest distance runners in the history of sports. Wow. With such a speed and the audience crashing at once. We saw absolutely historic performance. Why don't we go there? Right? We don't need to wait. Why do we go to that? Why don't we go? To his to this historic moment let's just be part of it if you new guys make sure you hit the like button and subscribe because we are running to one million so far so don't want to miss a part of it you ready guys let's go on august 24th of 2003 one of the greatest and most influential races took place at the World Track and Field Championships in Paris, Paris. France. It was in, Paris. in the finals of the 10,000 meters, a 21-year-old Kenanisa Bekele took to the track to battle against the legendary Haile Geber Selassie. Although they both hailed from Ethiopia, this was the first time these two had ever raced in a championship event. And with both men running unbelievable times building up to these championships, Whoa. the stage was set for greatness. This was truly a special moment for running, not just because the race featured two of the greatest runners to ever compete, but because this performance set a record that to this day has never been touched. In fact, it's difficult to imagine that anyone will ever duplicate what these two distance running legends accomplished. Whoa. Building up to these finals, Geber Selassie was almost unbeatable in the 10,000 meters. Plus, he was already a two-time Olympic champion in this event, winning golds in the 1996 Olympics and again in the year 2000. In tandem with his 10K accomplishments, he also had broken a total of 16 world records up to this point, a feat that clearly demonstrated his wide-reaching capabilities as an athlete. For many, he was without question the greatest distance runner on the planet, However, there was a new face that was quickly emerging in the track and field world, and many saw this new young talent as the one athlete who could potentially challenge Geber Selassie's supremacy in distance running. Right. Just one year earlier, Bekele, who was still only 19 years old at the time, became the first male runner to ever win both the long course and the short wow. course in the same World Cross Country Championships. Wow. This achievement shattered 19. all expectations for cross country running, but what really threw Bekele into the realm of greatness was when he did it again in 2003, this time a mere five months before he went to battle against his fellow teammate in the 10,000. Wow. With such an elite profile growing at an incredibly fast rate, everyone was ready to see what would happen at the World Championships. And let me be the first to say, this race truly lived up to the hype. In the beginning of the men's 10,000 meter finals, the pace was relatively relaxed, not too slow, but certainly not super fast. Through the first 3,000 meters, the field passed through in 8 minutes and 24 seconds, a time that was respectable for the opening stages of a 10K, however it was apparent that the entire field could run much quicker. Through the first 5,000, Bekele, who was now leading the race, 
split a time of 13 minutes and 52 seconds. But immediately after crossing the halfway point, everything changed. In a long but steady attempt to break the rest of the field, both Bekele and Geber Selassie rapidly increased the pace, and over the next 12 and a half laps, they exchanged the lead multiple times while maintaining an incredibly quick speed. Through the 8,000 meter mark, they split a time of 21 minutes and 42 seconds, which definitely represents a strong increase in pace. But as the finish line got closer and closer, both runners only continued to accelerate. At this point, both runners were completely alone up front, and after a brutally fast final mile, capped off with a devastating finishing kick, the young Kenanisa Bekele had officially won his first ever World Championship gold medal. He took on this was certainly a fantastic win, but what is often overlooked is just how revolutionary this race really was. This was not just the passing of the torch from one Ethiopian to another. This was one of the greatest clashes in track and field history, with both runners achieving and one special feet 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 that feet. might never be duplicated. So what exactly did these two runners accomplish that made this race so unforgettable? Okay. After passing through the halfway mark, both runners maintained a pace for the record books. And over the final lap, both runners ran well under 60 seconds, with Bekele running around 55 seconds and Haile running around 56. This amazing second half completely destroyed the competition. Oh. And while a 2649 and a 2650 are certainly world-class times for the 10,000, what really made this race special was the fact that both runners ran their second half in under 13 minutes, with Bekele running a 1257.2 and Geber Selassie running a 1258.8. This second 5,000 meters is actually faster than the current Olympic record for the 5,000, which stands at 12 minutes 57.82 seconds. And coincidentally, this time was set by Kenanisa Bekele back in 2008. This time is also faster than every single World Championship 5,000 meter final. Well, except for one, and that performance was, amazingly, the 2003 World Championships, which again was largely influenced by Kenanisa Bekele's presence. This race was undoubtedly very special. Two of the all-time greats had finally collided in a World Championship, and the result yielded one of the most unique wow. records that still stands more than 15 years later. But what happened after these championships, and what exactly did this race represent moving forward? Essentially, the distance running world now belonged exclusively to Kenanisa Bekele, and for the next six years, his dominance was unparalleled. Wow. Boosted by his new self-confidence from his 2003 victory, he went on a rampage to take down Geber Selassie's world records, and one by one, the world records continued to fall. He was breaking them, right? In 2004, he took down three world records, which included the Indoor 5000, which he ran in 12 minutes 49.60 seconds, the Outdoor 5000, which he ran in 12 minutes 37.35 seconds, and the Outdoor 10,000 meters, which he ran in 26 minutes 20.31 seconds. It's crazy! Also that year, Bekele once again won the World Cross Country Championship double, except this time, his victories were accomplished by enormous margins. Later that same year, he arrived in the Olympic Games as the heavy favorite for the 10,000, and just like the previous year, he was once again set to battle against his fellow teammate, Haile Geber Selassie. With an unforgettable sprint finish over the final lap, Bekele won the gold medal with ease, finishing in a new Olympic record Dude, time of 27 minutes and 5 seconds. This final lap was more than just a display of dominance. It was something that the world had never seen. For his final lap, he ran a time of 53.02 seconds. And although he had just run one of the fastest final laps in 10,000 meter history, he still had the energy to raise his arms in glorious victory. Wow. In the same race, Geber Selassie finished a disappointing fifth, and for the first time in well over a decade, he was unable to make the podium. Soon after this 10,000 meter final, Haile announced that he would officially be making his transition from the track to the roads. At this point, he had already seen solid success in previous road races, and with Bekele now dominating the 5K and the 10K landscape, this transition was a no-brainer. 
For the next seven years, Geber Selassie displayed some of the greatest road racing moments in history. In 2007, he broke the world record for the marathon, running a time of 2 hours, 4 minutes, and 26 seconds. Wow. And then just one year later, he broke his own world record again, and this time, he became the very first runner to ever break the 2 hour and 4 minute barrier. On his own By the end of his running career, he had broken a total of 10 additional world records on the roads, just highly doing highly things. While he was making a new name for himself on the roads, Bekele continued to be the absolute best on the track. From 2005 to 2009, he won a total of seven world titles, wow. very often winning with his patented sprint finish over the final 400. In both 2008 and 2009, he won both the 5,000 and 10,000 meters at both the Olympic Games and the World Championships. What? Also back in 2005, he once again lowered his own 10,000 meter record, which still stands today at 26 minutes 17.53 seconds. Bekele's success on the track very much echoed the previous achievements of Geber Selassie, and as the years progressed, Bekele once again followed in Geber Selassie's footsteps as he made a full transition to marathon racing. In 2016, he won the Berlin Marathon with an amazing time of 2 hours, 3 minutes, and 3 seconds, which was only 6 seconds shy of the world record at the wow. time. However, up to this point, Bekele's greatest marathon moment came in 2019, when he ran an Bastille. unbelievable time of 2 hours, 1 running. minute, and 41 seconds. This time was only 2 seconds behind the great Elliot Kipchoge's world record, and it once again reassured the world that Bekele was unquestionably one of the greatest distance runners of all wow. time. You are, bro. From their incredible personal bests to their total international medal count, these two have achieved many of the exact same accomplishments. These similarities are simply too obvious to ignore, and while these two only raced against each other a handful of times, they rarely overlapped when they were both at their prime. But that's what makes the 2003 World Championships so remarkable. This really was the closest moment to seeing both runners near their peak, with Geber Selassie nearing the end of his they career, while Bekele was just emerging as one of the greats. And they come back and they made them. This 10,000 meter race was certainly a very special moment for the track and field world. It was the end of one of the most dominant reigns in distance running history, but it was also the beginning for one of the most unbeatable athletes to ever compete. It's always difficult to say which athlete is better than the other, so with that in mind, I'll leave you with one final question. Haile Geber Selassie or Kenanisa Bekele? Yeah. Leave a comment down below and share your opinion on who deserves the title as the greatest of all time. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time. I think Bekele is still running, because if you he say he's running last year and say, hey, uh, Selassie, uh, Gabriel Selassie is an old man, he's grown, but the, for Bekele, he broke many records when at early age, and he is still running, and there are still so many records to be broken, man, like, yo, that was so crazy, people run. Yo, people can run. I can't run. I can't talk. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for following my channel. Thank you so much for following my Instagram or Facebook. Go follow me anywhere you can, but especially subscribe to my channel because I upload videos like a thousand of videos every day, man. Like, this was so beautiful. This was so touching. Find videos like this is so rare, but if you find it, do it because this is what I do. Please subscribe.